Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Mini video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this Wave Master deck which is in my opinion the best variation in the meta. By the way guys before we start you can change the Witch or the Miner to a Fisherman if you want. We are having the Miner to distract the enemy's bandit if we face it another Wave Master players. Now without more talking let's jump into some games. In game number one looks like we are facing a nature player okay. So if the enemy was transforming here to the dare, the wave master can't win that 1v1. And just because of that case, we are going to play with a bandit behind our wave master. Now let's get ready and see what will happen. Okay, he decided to not play with anything, which means we are going to win this first round because of the band. In the second round, I expect him to load his secret weapon, which can deal 48 damage with one hit oh boy so as an answer i'm going to play with my dark goblin in here so that my dark goblin will not move forward and attack his nature lady but will that be enough let's see okay that's the pika he upgraded here to the unstoppable fiercely well that's not a bad play actually oh my goodness my poor wave master Dark Goblin, you are our last hope. Go, Dark Goblin, please. Bring us the victory. Dark Goblin. Nah, that's just too much for him. In round number 3, it's switching time. So I'm going to place here in the left hand side like this. And the middle for the Ice user to counter his Fisherman if he was having it. And can we get... Yes, let's go. I'm going to upgrade here to this and get ready. A 2 star pika? Alright, my witch will enjoy dealing with that. Wave master, you must go away. Wave master! Oh my goodness, he died basically with one pika hit. And that's all because of the damage boost from the dare. That's insane, but against the witch? No, 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 that is not going to work at all. The dark goblin is going crazy with the witch as well. And this must be the victory in this third round. In round number 4, I think all we can do is upgrade in our ranged minis. The witch first to the more HP ability and the dark goblin to the boast so that he can cook for us. Oh no, a 3 star archer that can be a really big trouble for us. But he missed up the placement. The deer is not giving the boost to the archer that's huge for us. But she can still pump up with all of those skeletons on the board. Wave Master, we need a stun. Come on, Wave Master. The archer is pumping up. Oh my goodness. Alright, we got the Wave Master stun. Oh my goodness, that was so close. He was basically having a dark goblin in a skin of the archer. Oh my god, that was so insane. You know what, guys? I think we were a little bit lucky on there as well. Because one HP victory that does not happen every time so it is just better to change the miner in my opinion to the fisherman to counter the enemy's archer if they were having here so let's do this and don't forget you must do that as well all right guys in game number two we are facing chess in an auto chess game and as always against the nature i will use the bandit behind the wave master in the first round He plays with nothing which means first round is a gift for us. In the second round, let's put down the witch with the ice wizard just in case. After that reroll. Nice, I'm going to put down the dark goblin. You know what guys, I think in the last game we tried the dark goblin and it was not that successful. So in this round, let's reroll. And nice, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to try the witch this time to see if this is going to give us a better result or no. Okay, bro revealed his illegal secret weapon right now. The skeletons are distracting. Oh my goodness. That's actually a really good news for us. That can be really good. Good bandit dash. Can we win in here? Just take down that pick and we will be good. But the question is can we do it in frenzy mode the skeletons are going crazy and that was an easy round two victory so the wish in round number two is better than the dark goblin that's good to know 
So in this round, I'm just going to be placing my dark goblin in here to target the nature lady right away and not move forward and upgrade him to the fierce ability as well. I will keep that uh, space in the middle for the ice wizard in the future rounds. A 3 star pika, I don't think that will be enough for you buddy. Or is it? My wave master died right away with no value for us. That was not good at all. Dark Goblin, you need you to survive. Come on, please Dark Goblin. Oh no, the Dark Goblin can't do anything. Is that there? It is dealing a lot of damage and that was a crazy round loss for us. In round number 4, the question is how we can stop that. Hmm. We are having the fisherman, but he will be completely useless against the pika. You know what? I'm just going to upgrade my wish to the three star and see if that is going to work or no for us. All right, the bandit has been thrown to his death, and the wave master as well was missing here, so he went behind here. Can we win this one? Oh my goodness, the witch! Has been stunned by the Electro Wizard, that's no good at all. I don't think after that there's any chance for us to win. That was so bad. This is so tough, guys. How we can make our Wave Master survive? You know what? I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put down the Ice Wizard and upgrade him to the block in the front line to block his uh, Pekka. Hopefully, unfortunately, we did not got any more Dark Goblins. I was trying to upgrade him to the 2 star. But anyways, I'm just going to play with what I have. I'm fiercely going to put down a fisherman against his deer so that my dark goblin will hopefully survive for a little bit more and the ice wizard to the extra slow. Wait. Oh no, the wave master moved forward. I should have uh, freezed the wave master actually, but why he transformed his nature lady to the human form that's so nonsense i think bro might have choked it the dark one is going crazy the witch is not letting his ears to get any values and to be honest guys that was not our victory it was his lost another game and another nature player they are just so much in the ladder guys they are so much so in the first round as always Banded behind the wave master but before that let's cycle those minis we don't need them and let's go okay first round is going to be a gift boys in the second round we have tried it in the last game which is better than the dark goblin so nice we got here let's cycle the fisherman firstly we don't need him right now where to put here that's the question you know what guys i think i'm just going to go with the middle i don't think that will be bad and i'm getting here to the first ability oh no insane prediction by our opponent with the archer but you know what guys the wave master stands here and Bandit as well is going on top of here, so we might be good in here if she was down. And the only problem now is the nature lady. The wave master is going on top of here, the skeletons are swarming, and this must be the second round victory for us. Let's go. In round number three, I think we can end this match with only a fisherman hook. So I'm gonna try to go for that. One more reroll, fisherman. Oh no, only one fisherman is not enough to take care of his archer. So for this round, I'm just going to place down a dark goblin. Maybe in the back line will be better. And hope for the best. He places his ice wizard away from his archer. That's a choke. But I think I can understand the reason. He wants my wave master to not go on top of his archer with the ability. But to be honest, that would have not been a big problem for him. In round number 4, we got the fisherman that we need, let's go, I'm going to hook the archer and upgrade him to the last ability as well. Now, let's put down the ice wizard and for this 4 elixirs, hopefully, we can get a witch. 
oh no that was bad anyways i'm just going to upgrade the dark goblin to the first ability that's our best option okay the fisher mass hook was successful all of our ranged minis are targeting the archer which is so nice can we take her down fastly please Oh my goodness, the wave master got the ability this time. That's so huge for us. I don't think we can lose after that. That is just not possible. The skeletons from the witch are swarming the Pekka. The Pekka is down and this must be the victory against this dear player. Let's go. Alright guys, this is going to be the last game and thank goodness we are not facing another nature player. So against the wave master, firstly let's cycle this witch. You must uh, launch your bandit in one of those sides, far left or far right side. Like that the path of the bandit's ability will be better than the middle. Okay, now let's see. Oh, looks like homie knows the strat as well. So, this is exactly the same thing. Luck should decide who is going to win. Or wave master got the ability fastly. Good bandit ability and I think we were a little bit luckier than our boy so we must win this if there was not any mistakes right come on wave master oh just one HP that was huge the luck was insane in the second round there's two things that we can do the first one is upgrading our bandit to the two star and hoping for the luck and the second one which I'm going to do is putting down the ice wizard and upgrading him to the extra slow like that we can delay his bandit's ability and hopefully we will be in a really good situation a two star mini pekka well i am not sure about that bro because as you are looking the mini pekka can't stop the bandit from the dashing isn't that crazy like the mini pekka used it to stop heroes he can't stop a mini now our bandit is going crazy on top of his stuff right now and I think this must be the victory in this round. In round number 3 let's just upgrade our ice wizard to the splash and the bandit to the stun ability that's all we are going to do. He goes with a 3 star mini pekka and 2 star bandit who will win in here. The mini pekka will not be able to stop the bandit as always. The ice wizard is shredding so hardly, oh my goodness. Good wave master ability. Now the bandit pumps off. He's going crazy. Or I shall say she is going crazy. And this must be the victory and the end of this match. Let's go. Easy victory against this wave master player. Anyways guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you learned something from me. And that was the deck that I was playing with. In my opinion, this is the best wave master variation. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next time. Bye bye.